Welcome to the prayer channel. We're on day four of praying through into the new year and today we're praying about digging deeper. We're reading Ezekiel 8 verse 8. It says, He said to me, Son of man, now dig through the wall. So I dug through the wall and behold an entrance. Lord, we thank you that you are calling us to dig deeper. Dig through the wall, dig through the barriers, dig through the boundaries, dig through the limitations. Lord, you're calling us, Lord, to break soil in a way that we haven't before. You're calling us to challenge ourselves, Lord, to seek your face in a way that we have never done before. And Lord, we know that as we do this, Lord, we are entering into a new realm of the spirit. We're understanding your Holy Spirit and how it moves in a new way. And so, Lord, help us. Help us, Lord, as we desire to dig deeper today, as we desire to enter into realms that we've never been in before, enter into possibilities, Lord, that our minds have been closed to before. We thank you, Lord, that you're calling us, Lord, into this new year, Lord, equipped and ready, Lord, to reap a harvest, Lord, not to start on the back foot, but instead to be poised, to be ready, to hit the blocks and to accelerate as the new year begins. Lord, we love you. We thank you for scriptures like the one we're reading right now. Lord, you call us, Lord, to recognize where we are, recognize the situation around us, recognize that although things may look tough, may look difficult, although walls may have formed around us, Lord, you're calling us, Lord, to break through, to break through in the spiritual realm, in prayer, in supplication, in petitioning you, Lord so that we can access what is on the other side of the wall, what is on the other side of this new year. Lord, we are asking you for the right equipment. We're asking you for the strength. Lord, we're asking you for the know-how. Lord, how do we break through? How do we dig deep? Lord, how do we not only dig deep, but dig through the wall that is in our way? Lord, there's an entrance. You're inviting us into that entrance today. You're calling us in, Lord, and you're saying, there is a way, there is a way, there is a there is a key. There is a key for each of us, Lord, if we could just hear you and consider what you're saying. Lord, we look at Acts 16, six to nine, when Paul, the Apostle Paul's ministry was subjected to the leading of the Holy Spirit, Lord, and we remember how you were very specific with Paul and you spoke to him in visions and dreams. It says, Now when they had gone through Phygia and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. After they had come to Mycenae, they tried to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit did not permit them. So passing by Mycenae, they came down to Troas, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Now, after he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. Lord, you were so clear. Lord, you are clear. Lord, you've left us the Holy Spirit as our helper. Each of us, Lord, have access to the Holy Spirit who dwells within us, but is also around us, Lord. And Lord, we just ask that, just like Paul did, Lord, would we have a sensitivity to your Holy Spirit? Would we be able to dig deep in prayer, dig deep in accessing the knowledge that you have, accessing the wisdom, Lord, that you contain and that you long to give us? Lord, would we have ears open enough to hear, to hear what you're saying, Lord, and to obey? Thank you that you're calling us to access different levels of achievement and success and breakthrough, access different levels of healing and wholeness and change. Lord, you are working wonders in our lives. Lord, you are working wonders. And Lord, we know that just as you've called us to dig deep, not only to dig deep for ourselves, Lord, but to dig deep, Lord, so that the harvest will be plenty. Lord, we thank you that we are like farmers committed to the harvest. Lord, we are going to do all we can in our power and in our lives, Lord, to serve you well, to cultivate the soil as you'd like us to, to dig deep, to uproot, to tear down, to prepare, 
to be ready, to be sensitive, Lord, to do what you need us to do in this new year. Lord, would we incline our ear unto you? Would we incline our ear unto you? And Lord, would we not be lazy in any way? Would you help us, Lord? Would you help us not to take shortcuts? As it says in Proverbs 21, 5, good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Lord, again, in Proverbs 24, you said those too lazy to plough in the right season will have no food at the harvest. Oh Lord, we long to have a fruitful and an abundant harvest. And so Lord, we do the prep work now. Lord, we do what it takes. We spend this time with you. Lord, we spend this time in extended prayer, extended worship, extended surrender. Lord, because we know that you have all the answers. We know that the answers are in you. We know that the Holy Spirit's leading is all we need. And so, Lord, lead us, lead us, lead your children today. Help us to be the farmers that you need us to be. And in doing so, Lord, would we reap a harvest in the new year. Lord, even as we pray in our own words now, Lord, bring to our minds every area, Lord, where you would like a cleansing and a digging deeper. Lord, we're open and we're ready. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. 